Welcome to this week's episode of Kidlet 6. If you're new here, we're so glad you could join us. And if you're returning, welcome back. Each week in Kidlet 6, we get to spend six minutes together celebrating book birthdays, connecting with authors, and growing our reading wish lists. As a reminder, all the books mentioned in the episode are listed down below. So if you hear about a book that sounds interesting, you can look down there to get all the details. Now, let's get started. Hi, Kid Lit 6. I'm Caroline Gertler, author of Middle Grade Novels, Many Points of Me. And my new book is Where You've Got to Be, which is about New York City sixth grade girl, Noli. She is trying to figure out her path in life as she's overshadowed by her older sister, who is in the New York City Ballet, and her best friend, who's trying to make them be cooler. And as Noli goes down a path that isn't necessarily the best one for her, she starts to figure out more about who she wants to be and where she's going. It's set against the backdrop of the Jewish High Holy Days, uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the Jewish New Year and the Day of Atonement. And Noli certainly has a lot to atone for this year. So there's a lot of references to family, history, and culture. So if you like to read books that really delve into character, getting to know what makes someone tick, what's going on deep inside of them, this is the book for you. Another recommendation of another wonderful middle grade contemporary realistic book is Stick With Me by Jennifer Bletcher. This book came out two years ago um, during the pandemic in 2020, so you might have missed it. School Library Journal and a starred review calls this book stunning, and it really is. It's told in interweaving voices, so you get two different girls' perspectives and their paths cross in an unusual way. And it's another great book about friendship and figuring out your place and where you want to be. Thank you for listening and happy reading. The day a book first comes out is called its publication date, but that's a little bit boring. And since it can also be called its book birthday, we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate this week's book birthday. This week, we're celebrating sixth grade secret service. Abraham Truman comes from a long line of secret service agents, but they're kind of known for not really being able to do a great job. And so they've been giving tasks like giving tours at the White House or taking care of the presidential limo. But now Abe has been given an incredibly special task. He will be the secret service agent for the sixth grade school president. And then she goes missing. Abe quickly discovers that Tibby's been kidnapped and so he sets off to try to find her. Will he be successful and able to find her in time or will it be too late? The best way to celebrate a book birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and pick up your copy of Sixth Grade Secret Service today. Hey, it's Matt Landis here, middle school teacher and best-selling author of these middle grade books. Oh, I can't say that. Why not? Well, how many do we have to sell? Can we say we're pretty good selling? How about just author? Matt Landis here, middle school teacher and author of these four books. I would love for you to read the last book in my middle school series, Operation Final Notice. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I write about my students. This is ripped from the daily lives of my kids, specifically on the topic of anxiety. Two types specifically, stage fright and financial insecurity. I need more money. My main character, Ronnie Russo, his dad got hurt at work and they're like short, short money. And Ronnie finds out in the opening chapter that they're way behind on a car loan and they're gonna lose the family car. His best friend, Joe Ramos, gets a different final notice. She gets an audition at this prestigious cello conservatory but she has epic stage fright. And so she's got to go on this four week mission to finally get over it so she can crush the audition and make her music dreams come true. I also want to plug my favorite middle grade book of all time, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. If you haven't read it, check it out. It's got an incredible backstory to its own. Patrick Ness finished the book for Sabuan Dowd who passed away before she could. Without question, my favorite middle grade book. You should definitely check it out. Thank you to Kidlet6 for hosting me. Have an amazing school year. No, like I, I'm teaching and I'm writing. 
Yes, I make money. Mom, I will call you back. Photos, recently deleted, delete, select all. I love you too. to shirk the challenge, so I decided to see if I could build the shed all on my own. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word shirk? Try creating your own sentence and then share it with us on social media at KidLit6 or down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this week's episode of KidLit6. We hope that this episode has given you lots of great new books to add to your reading wish list. Have a great week and happy reading!